All right, so solving rational equations. Um, we worked on more than one strategy. The one that we worked on yesterday was cross-multiplying, wasn't it? What was the one before that? What were we trying to do? That's right, multiplying everything by the least common denominator. The reason that I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this might not be the best strategy is because that's going to get kind of messy, isn't it? But would that work? If we took the least common denominator and multiplied the whole thing by it, would that work? Yeah, that would definitely work. It would just be kind of messy, I think. And if you look at what that would uh, look like, Angela, it actually ends up looking like this cross-multiplication problem when it's all over, doesn't it? Why is cross-multiplication okay to, to do? It's really important. It is, it is, that is why, because it's over equal sign. What theorem are we applying here? Good for you, good for you, good for you, good for you. Liz? The means extremes theorem, right, which states clearly that if A over B is equal to C over D, if this is true, if and only if this is true, then AD equals B, C. And somebody had a really clever joke, given that we're at a Catholic school about AD equals B, C. Sorry. It's very sad they all just got that just right now. That's you couldn't hear me. Wow, it's okay. So what is this going to look like? This is going to get a little bit messy, isn't it? What are we going to multiply times what? What's the multiplication problem that we're about to do here? X times X minus 1. Yeah, we're going to have X, right, times X minus 1. And the second one we're going to do is what? Yeah, 2x plus 7 times the quantity x minus 5. It doesn't matter which way we go, but what I would say is that we should be moving in opposite directions, so we end up with them on the opposite side, on opposites of equal sign, right? So here's the first thing that you said that we were going to have, and that makes sense because that's this, isn't it, right here? It's equal to, and now we're going to do this, which is 2x plus 5 times x minus 5. Now what? Now what? Yeah. Foil and distribute, right? So you're right twice, I think. So I'm going to just distribute into here, aren't we? And then we're going to do foil here, which would be this times this, and this times this, and then this times this, and then this times this. Right? So isn't that kind of geographically what's about to happen here? And what does this turn out to be here? Yeah, Joel. X squared minus X. X squared minus X here is equal to what? 2X squared minus, oh, good for you. Good for you, right? Because 2X times negative 5. Can somebody put the dog outside, please? Hilarious. So you're right, Joe. We have two times this is negative 10x, isn't it? This times this is positive 7x. Right? So the sum of those would be negative 3x. Everybody okay with that math? Is somebody seriously checking my math here? That's your job, right? And then lastly, the last term here is good. Thank you very much. Negative 35. Can we simplify this, please? Uh, first off, what's our clue? What do we have here? What kind of solving technique are we going to use here? It's really important. Because that's kind of the next step, isn't it? What are, what are we going to do? What kind of math do we have? Yeah, please. It's in the form of a quadratic, so good for you. So I'm thinking like this now. AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0 is going to be my solving strategy, right? So I'm going to move everything. Can we move everything this to, this, to the right-hand side? What I'm trying to avoid is the negative X squared thing. So X squared, negative X squared. Is everybody okay if I do this all this algebra at one time and I add positive x at the same time? Everybody see what I'm doing? I'm just combining the steps. Is that okay? And x squared minus x squared is 0. Negative x plus x is 0. So there's where that came from, right? This goes to what here? x squared. X squared. 
Hello? Thank you very much. Minus 2x minus 35. You know what I'm going to do, don't you? What am I about to do? Is there something wrong with my brain? David? I am, but more than that, because I am who I am, I'm going to move this around, right? It would be great, Joel, if I press this button and just picks this whole thing up. Like, no, but of course it wouldn't, Joel. You know what I'm saying? What if I did this and it picked up? Ooh, look at that. Ooh. They're not sincere, just so you know, if you're watching this on YouTube. They're not sincere. They're making fun of me. I'm okay. And then they laughed about the fact that I'm just exactly smart enough to know that they're making fun of me. Anybody want to factor this now? What does this factor out to? What does this factor out to? It's not, I don't want to see the same three hands. Davey. Hi, buddy. What do you got? X. Oh, thank you. X minus 7. Sorry, David. Yep. X plus 5. How many of you can hear my voice saying these are this and not that? These are these are what and not what is crucial to us. Allie? These are factors, not solutions. We need solutions. So, uh, Allie, what are the solutions? Exactly. X equals 7 or X equals 5. All right. Gosh. I mean, thank you very much. You're lovely, lovely people. Congratulations on being part of our 90th video. 90. Are you still there?